so how the important veins in the fetus is developing so before going to that veins proper just revise the heart tube so the heart tube as all of us know it has got bulbous cordis primitive ventricle primitive atrium and the last component that is the sinus venosus so the veins of the fetus is mainly in relation with this sinus venosus okay with keeping this in mind we will now go to our veins proper so basically the veins in the fetus it is divided into two groups visceral veins and somatic veins so the visceral veins mainly consist of two they are the vitelline veins and the umbilical veins okay so the vitelline veins and umbilical veins so these two veins together constitutes the visceral veins or the veins which drain blood from the viscera of the fetus and the next category is the somatic veins soma soma means body so the veins which drain the body wall and the structures related to body they constitutes the somatic veins and the main vein which comes under the somatic vein they are known as cardinal veins okay so the somatic veins mainly consist of the cardinal veins so we have got two types of veins in the fetus visceral veins somatic veins visceral veins the major contribution is by vitelline and umbilical veins then the somatic vein may to consist of the cardinal vein which is again divided into anterior and posterior okay so the cardinal vein the somatic veins mainly divided into anterior and posterior now we will see how each vein is formed from this okay so first the vitelline vein so the vitelline vein is otherwise known as omphalo mesenteric vein in simple term vitelline vein so this vein's main function is to drain blood from the yolk sac to the sinus venosus so the sinus venosus in the heart tube has got two horns right horn and left horn okay so there are two vitelline veins right vitelline vein and left vitelline vein so again according to the developing gut according to the developing duodenum suppose if this is the developing duodenum okay this is the developing duodenum on either side of this duodenum there is the right and the left vitelline veins okay so this is right side this is left side the right and left vitelline veins are there so the vitelline veins according to the developing duodenum on either side of the duodenum there is the right side and the left side vitelline vein which drains blood from the yolk sac to the two horns of the sinus venosus okay so vitelline vein basically related with the yolk sac draining of blood from the yolk sac and this vitelline vein has got certain other function it also helps in the formation of another important vein in the body which is known as portal vein 